I was wrong about Oppenheimer. My last review was too harsh, frankly, scored too low, and I should have taken more time to marinate on my feelings before rushing out a review. Such is the way, sometimes, of what we do with these talks. But this is no four-star movie. In fact, I almost immediately regretted not doing it at at least 4.5 stars. I rushed it out. But honestly, this is a five-star film and one of the most important ones in years. A stirring biopic crafted like a blockbuster. Genius. To address my direct criticisms from last time, I will both stick to what I said and politely retract some things. The audio mixing is still all over the place. Mumbling complex dialogue makes it hard to follow on top of an extremely loud film score. Thankfully, subtitles make make this a non-issue and the film encourages you to pay attention with how it's crafted. I feel things with that music too so it's all good. And this criticism is nothing new for Christopher Nolan. And I no longer think the film feels like it could have been split into two films. It would remove the heart of Oppenheimer's character journey from the story and why it's edited so non-linearly to showcase everything he went through and how it relates to his efforts, his guilt, and his sins all at once. I still think there's something to be said about the first two hours culminating in a chilling film and then it keeps going. I mentioned before that it struggles in knowing where to end and maybe there's some merit to how the final hour plays out, but because I was able to pick up on so much more of the dialogue, honestly this didn't even phase me this as a complaint this time. In fact, it's some of the best paced three hours of cinema I have ever felt. The genius of the intentionality of every cut, every insert, every subtle cue was on display for me to catch. Pause, reflect on, and experience with my wife as we watched in glorious 4K courtesy of Universal, sending me a copy. Thanks for that, by the way. Speaking of, my gosh, is this film gorgeous and this transfer is perfect. It looks good at the theater, but sometimes at home I can see even more as I don't have to worry about dim projectors, people's phones reflecting, and I can control the picture settings on my pretty darn great TV, which I am kind of a stickler about. The detail is immense, grandiose, and the IMAX sequences really stuck out to me. I can see the pores on Killian Murphy's face as he drowns in his own paranoia and suffering. There's a wealth of bonus material uh, that is extremely exciting that is on here for diehards to dive into, and maybe I will someday. The case is hefty with a nice slipcover, which I can't wait to proudly display in my collection that you see behind me. So thank you again, Universal, for, for providing me with this copy. I really appreciate it. And this is one of the best 4Ks I've watched in a long, long time. Crisp and just perfection in cinematography. And transfer. I do stand by the fact that while I understand the intent of the sexual sequences and the nudity involved in them, they are highly unnecessary in how they are presented. The exact same conclusions and effect could have been achieved with different framing and cuts. I said what I said. But I also said before that this is all around good filmmaking. Challenging, provocative, occasionally an uneven, indulgent, hard to hear brilliance that we can only expect from the one and only Christopher Nolan. I stand by those words, but man, subtitles help and indulgence from Christopher Nolan becomes a treat for us. I am walking back my original review and giving this the due praise it should have gotten the first time around thanks in large part to the 4K that I was provided. Sometimes films sit with us and grow over time. Rewatches can make us sour on things we hadn't or make our struggles blossom into the best of praises. This isn't the first one I have changed, but it is the first one I will publicly announce change on in video because of how deserved it is of the coveted five stars. Oppenheimer is not a four star film. I give Oppenheimer the well-deserved five out of five stars one of the best movies of the year. Thanks so much for watching. I highly encourage that you buy Oppenheimer on 4K. Uh, it is worth having and physical media is really important and I'm glad to see that Oppenheimer is helping with that argument and seeing a resurgence in sales and how well it's done. It was sold out for a while. So yeah, physical media for life. If you enjoyed this video, hit like, consider subscribing, and remember, always look for the good.